All right, Victor, we spend nearly one third of our lives doing it. And for most people, it is usually in the same uh, configuration, let's say. Yeah, uh, we're talking about sleep and your sleeping position can have an important impact on your health, especially if you suffer from certain ailments. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us live from St. Clair Shores to shed some light on this sleep science doc. Look at you. Yeah, Kim and Evan. So, you know, generally people choose their sleep position based on what's most comfortable. And sometimes that also naturally matches with what's ailing you. For example, if you have a bad shoulder, you might automatically take pressure off of it. But in some cases, your sleep position might not naturally align with what's healthiest for you. I sleep all over the place. I roll around like a dog when I sleep. Younger people do change position more often in their sleep, but we settle down with age and the position you fall asleep in will more frequently be the position you stay in. So what's the best position overall? I sleep on my back. Why? Uh, I feel like I get a deeper sleep if I sleep on my back. On my stomach. And why do you sleep on your stomach? Because it's comfortable. Do you sleep on your side, your back, or your face? My side. Why? Because they said that's the healthiest way to sleep. And sleeping on our side is the best position. Uh, for sleep, if we can, if we can do it. Dr. Louisa Bazan is the division head of sleep medicine at Henry Ford Health. She says side sleeping is also the most common position. Majority of patients are going to sleep on their side. Um, Ten percent or so on their back, and a little bit less than that on their belly. Sleep on my side. Why? I prefer it because it's more comfortable. And there are extra health benefits for side sleepers. If you suffer from gastroesophageal reflux or heartburn from your dinner and stomach acid gurgling up at night, Dr. Bazan has some advice. Solution would be to sleep on their left side. There have been a study uh, recently done that show that when the patients sleep on the left side, they have less events of acid going into the upper part of the, uh, into the esophagus. Another condition that benefits from left side sleeping is pregnancy. When we have a, a patient who is pregnant, we normally recommend to sleep on their left side. It's very important so for the well-being of the mother and the baby. Sleeping on the left side takes pressure off important blood vessels that run behind the growing uterus. Now, for people with heart disease, side sleeping is also recommended, but now it's sleeping on your right side that helps. It can help decrease the congestion of the heart, the sleeping on the right side. Right side, left side, in other situations, which side doesn't matter. It's just helpful to be on your side. If you have sleep apnea, sleeping on your back is the worst position. When we're on our back, our tongue falls backwards. You know, and uh, that produces more occlusion and more closure of the upper airway. Or the so we normally recommend the patients to sleep on their side to try to keep the airway, the airway or the upper part of the uh, air pipe open. One downside of side sleeping, wrinkles. Uh, sleeping in that position for, if we're lucky, 25 to 30 percent of our life is going to produce at some point uh, the, the wrinkles in that, in, that direct, in that direction, which is kind of more horizontal. Uh, parallel to the, to the position that you're on. When you're on your side, your face gets smushed and some of those lines can become permanent as we age. Another issue is acne. The main reason why acne can be produced while we're sleeping is the constant uh, contact with the pillowcase. The debris and oils from your face can accumulate on the pillowcase if you don't change it often enough. Now in the case of both acne and wrinkles, if you're a back sleeper, you're in luck. Now, by now, you're probably wondering about the most common problem people have when they sleep, back pain. Well, there is no best position for everyone, but if you sleep on your back, having a pillow or two behind your knees to keep them bent can help the curvature of your spine. And for side sleepers... If patients need to lay on your side because that's more comfortable for their back pain, putting a pillow in between their legs so they can keep, you know, some of the curvature off and decrease the pressure on the back will be good. Now, for you stomach sleepers out there, medically speaking, there is no condition where you would really benefit except perhaps very mild sleep apnea since it can help move your tongue forward and reduce snoring. But as far as spine alignment, wrinkles, and acne, sleeping on your stomach can make all of them worse. But if you're comfortable, of course, and you get a restful night's sleep on your stomach, that's really the most important thing in the end. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm going to keep all of this straight, right. Frank. Okay, the left side hard. if you've got GERD, yes. the right side if you're worried about heart. Okay, um, the health impacts, we've covered that part. Is there anything else we can learn from our preferred sleep position? And you look so comfortable, by the way. <laughs> 
Well, thanks. Yeah, this is probably the most comfortable I've been on television in a while, actually. <laughs> so, you know, the science is actually a little softer on all of that, but there is some research that suggests sleep position can impact what you dream about and even reveal things about your personality. Oh. And we're going to dive into that tomorrow at 6 a.m. And I will say it's actually pretty fascinating stuff to consider. Oh, I cannot wait to hear that part of the story. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it so much. These sound like great trips, but can you really convince yourself to sleep a certain on the, way? On, on the side that's Once better you're asleep, for your body? I know. I don't know how I end up. <laughs> the universe is spinning you around the way you want to be, I, I think. I and mean, yeah. if you ever have a kid in your bed, they sleep like the hands of a clock where it just keeps turning. All of a sudden, you've got a foot in your back and your head. And that's how my kids do anyway. All right.